AIN TV is brought to you by Rolls Royce. If you want a more vivid picture of the warfighting versatility that the F 35 fighter promises, look no further than the F 35B version. Crucially for Britain's Royal Navy, the F 35B's short takeoff and vertical landing capability will allow it to operate from new generation aircraft carriers that will not have catapults or deck arrestor equipment. The country's Royal Air Force will also get the F 35B, which will replace both the Harrier and Sea Harrier jump jets. Stovall Operations is uh, the, the, the unique part of the F-35B where we can do the, uh, the vertical landing, the short takeoff and the short landing side of things. So the jet just does its transformer act and then we, uh, we take off short and we, uh, we vertically land. In Lockheed Martin's complex international program, UK companies BAE Systems and engine maker Rolls-Royce were key partners. Rolls-Royce developed the lift fan technology that enables the short takeoff and vertical landing capability. But the F-35B is also a key factor in future U.S. military capability, with the U.S. Marine Corps also depending heavily on multiple applications that will see it replace three different combat aircraft, the F-A-18 Hornet, the E-A-6B Prowler, and the AV-8B version of the Harrier. Not only can it go supersonic and carry advanced weapons uh, with an advanced sensor suite, it can land on a ship that carries Marines as well. For the Marine Corps, the F-35B is a perfect fit. I mean, the B gives us the capability to take a fifth generation fighter and attach it to Marines in combat. To go wherever they go, we don't need a land base, we don't need tankers, we don't need the Navy's big deck carrier. We can take our ships, we can take our Marines, and we can go wherever we want to go. The F-35B's extraordinary operational flexibility and mission capability is intended to ensure that the Marines and other military forces from partner nations are ready for the fast-changing missions that are a fact of life in modern warfare. So the F-35 is a multi-role fighter, so I can essentially provide uh, any mission set with this aircraft, and it was designed from the bottom up to be able to do that. It's not specifically an attack aircraft or specifically a fighter aircraft, it's designed to be multi-role. This is the most lethal aircraft that's been made so far. It is very, very advanced. 